Everyone knows about ChatGPT, Dolly, Midjourney, Bard, but no one knows about the incredible AI tools that I'm gonna show you today. From simple but useful stuff to life-changing tools, the video has everything. Tell me, how creative are you? Maybe you are a musician or a singer or even a writer of poems and great American novels, I don't know. But in this case, you definitely know how hard it can be to come up with words sometimes, especially if those words must be artistic. If you ever find yourself in such a situation, use text effects. Text effects is a new AI experiment from Google AI that used the Palm 2 large language model to generate creative text. On the website, there are 10 tools to choose from, each doing its own thing. Take a sample, for example. It takes the word you type and expands on it, adding meaning and sense. Bookshelf for it is like a treasure chest full of untold stories waiting to be discovered. I really like this. It feels like something a creative person would write. If I like the result, I can pin it, or let's try frogs. AI gives multiple options to choose from, and if I click on view all, I can expand the list. Frogs are like tiny dinosaurs that never grew up. This one is the best. Or here is explode. This tool breaks words into similar sounding phrases. This tool can be super useful for singers and people that write song lyrics making it easier to find a rhyme. Unexpect adds something unexpected and creative to the words you write, which can be useful sometimes. I feel like this one was added just because they could, but maybe you can find a better use for it. Another similar tool is Chain, which gives a list of semantically related items. For AI, it gives computer, program, code, book, library, shelf, cabinet. Not sure about this one either, but POV is really interesting. Let me show you. I'll type in tape, recorder, and AI will give me a bunch of opinions or thoughts on it. Tape recorders are the original voice memo, or tape recorders are the perfect way to eavesdrop on your neighbors. I feel like a properly creative person can find some use in this tool, or you can just generate funny tweets about things. Another small tool is alliteration. It gives topical words starting with a certain letter. Acronym creates acronyms for short words, Fuse finds relations between things, but in my opinion, does a so-so job here. Scene is an interesting one. It adds details to any situation I describe and unfold, just adds random words. Overall, I think TextFX is a very interesting tool. Right now, TextFX is still under development, but it has the potential to be a powerful tool for writers, creative professionals, and anyone who wants to write even better. Next cool AI tool is called Softer, and they are kindly sponsoring this video. Softer is a no-code platform that lets you build all kinds of apps using Google Sheets or an Airtable database. It's like a Swiss army knife for web app development, and it's perfect for people of all skill levels, from beginners to experts. There are hundreds of different pre-made templates that you can use. Just choose the design, use it, and personalize it to fit your needs. What I like about it is that it totally lives up to its name and idea. No-code platform. So instead of learning learning how to code, all I need to do is just type in the prompt for what I want and let AI do the rest. It can be a client portal, directories, membership platforms, and much more. If needed, it can even create internal tools for your business like CRM, inventory management, and so on. Again, no coding. And the best part is that the web apps won't be those typical static ones. Software creates full-fledged business apps with database connections and user authentication. And that is still not the end because software also uses clever AI models to generate contents for web apps. AI from software can generate text for the app, create themes, and even develop visual design and generate images where needed. I'm telling you, give software a few more years and senior web developers will be out of work and UX UI designers along with them. It's really good. I will leave a link in the description for you. So be sure to check it out. You know, coming up with gifts is always difficult for me, and a couple of times I gifted something person didn't need or want. If you're like me, then you should try out Dream Gift. With this AI, finding a gift is super easy. I just start a chat, answer a few questions about a happy person, about age, interests, and so on. Then AI analyzes everything and gives a selection of gifts. Each gift has a link to Amazon embedded into it, so buying the thing is one step away. What I like is how unusual some gifts are. If I ask to suggest gifts for a friend that is into food and movies, the AI will suggest popcorn making kit or 
all movie posters. Both gifts will be absolutely perfect and definitely unexpected. And this AI is totally free, no strings attached. Okay, now tell me this, do you use Google to search for stuff? Well, with the next tool you'll want to ditch Google because Find is much better, at least for certain queries. The developers describe Find as an AI-powered search engine and pair programmer. I will now argue with that, but want to say that I found Find also super useful for even simple search requests. For example, I can ask about the statistics of AI use in colleges. Find will look it up and compose an answer according to its findings. In this case, for example, there is not that much statistical data, so we decided to start by telling a bit about AI penetration in our world and then stated that there is not enough data to properly answer my question. The response looks like something from a research paper, which is nice. I can also ask follow-up questions about specifics like how many students get expelled after using ChatGPT. And here is once again, not enough data, but the potential is there. And as for that pair programmer, it's just something. I can ask how to use JSF in Jakarta EE application and it will give me a full instruction. Each step has explanations and a piece of code showing how it's done. This is super useful already, even for me, someone who knows nothing about programming. As a follow-up question, I want the AI to explain why the step four is done that way. And now it's given me a detailed explanation of everything that's happening in that step and how it works. There are even links to find more info. I feel like find can become a fantastic tool for basically everyone and especially for programmers. Now, do you remember me saying something about life-changing AIs? Yep, the time has come. You know what is the most difficult part about finding a job? Not the interviews, not the job itself, but writing resumes. Resume is the worst part and the most important one. It all starts with it. And if something isn't right, no matter how good you are at, at your job, the position will be given to someone with a better resume. And we will fix it using Resi AI. This tool makes it super simple to create resumes and customize them to better fit job requirements. Let me show you. So this AI can create resumes, cover letters, and even resignation letters. I hope you won't need the last one. Resumes can be created from scratch, from a template, from LinkedIn, or from the file upload. I suggest choosing job tailored resumes since this way AI uses wording specific for the job to increase your chances of landing it. Next, I write the role I'm aiming at, company name, and job description. I'm gonna be a software engineer at Apple and will use the job description from the official website. Next is choosing the field and experience I have. After that comes the most interesting part, going through tabs and filling them in one by one. Sounds time consuming, but it really isn't. For previous work experiences, for example, I just type in the name of the position and dates and Resi AI generates me all the stuff I did at that company. No need for boring writing and the list of things actually is relevant to the job I'm applying to. All other fields can be filled up the same way, bit of typing and tons of AI work. AI can even suggest relevant skills for you and write a summary for the entire resume. With Resi AI, creating resume takes just a couple of minutes, much faster and easier than doing everything manually and trying to use the right words. Might sound like something off topic, but that's exactly what it is. I love old photos. Photos from the 30th, old Polaroids, even photos from the early 2000s, I love them all. Especially photos of my family, but they all have one issue. They're just photos. And sometimes you just want to see your grand grandma smile at you. And that's another area of life where AI comes to the rescue. Deep Nostalgia is an AI on my heritage website that effortlessly animates old photos and brings them back to life. Let me show you how it works. I just upload a photo, then do a mandatory sign up and then wait. A few seconds later, the video is ready. It does look AI-ish, but if I was to choose between this and a lifeless photo, I'd choose the video. It can be good for heartwarming family videos or something like that. Genuinely useful tool. AI is seriously cool and there are tons of interesting and unknown tools that no one knows about. I bet you didn't use a single one of these tools before and that's what I like about AI. Limitless potential. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.